Are you in a situation where you feel stagnant in your career and wondering how to resolve the stagnation? Join me in this discussion as we highlight some of the reasons why you could be feeling stagnant and how best to bring yourself out of that situation. As usual, my name is Mary and I am joined by Paminas who will be shedding more light in this subject. Thank you for joining. Thank you Mary for having me. Great. Yeah. I know in our career journey, it's normal for someone to feel stagnant in their career. Yeah. And most, the most important aspect is to come, find out ways in which you can be able to come out of that stagnation. Mm. So to begin with, someone could be watching and wondering, what is career stagnation? So thank you, Mary. That's a very good observation, especially when you're talking uh, about mid-level professionals. Mm -hmm. So career stagnation, you normally find it happening to professionals who are from the age of 29, 30 upwards. Mm -hmm. And especially that critical stage of between 30 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. So a simple definition of uh, career stagnation is where you find there's no more advancement in terms of uh, salary. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no advancement in terms of skills acquisition. Mm -hmm. Uh, job becomes monotonous, mm -hmm. you are not learning anything new, it's mm -hmm. all routine. And uh, sincerely, if you look back in the last five years, you can't see progress in your career. Mm -hmm. So by the time it, it reaches that level, then we can say that your career has stagnated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. And, and that makes me to ask again, why do people feel stagnated in their career? There are many reasons why people feel stagnated and some of them could be internal, others could be external, mm -hmm. which is beyond their control. So some of the internal reasons could be maybe you've not upgraded your skills, Mary. So you graduated when you're 25 years, now you're 32, you've not learned any new course. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other reason could be, let's say you've been in the same industry. You haven't been exposed to anything else. Mm -hmm. So your job has become monotonous. Mm -hmm. Your grade has not changed. Say you joined as an accountant, and that's where you've been. Well, that's where you've been in the last seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other reason could be closely related to number one, where you've not learned a new skill. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to school and learning something new mm -hmm. is where even your job has not changed. Mm -hmm. You know, you do the same thing every day, Monday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely, that can bring that aspect of career stagnation. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's also another interesting aspect, the issue of salary, because we don't just live, um, it's not just about our skills. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you want to be remunerated for your skills and experience. Yeah. So there are some instances where you find someone has gone back to school, they have more responsibilities, mm -hmm. they're handling more challenges, but when they're looking at their take home, it's the same for the last five years. Mm -hmm. So salary reaching a pre two, pre two would also be um, one indicator of your career uh, stagnating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another one could be also where there are no increased responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You started, you've been a supervisor all through the last six years. Mm -hmm. People come, they are promoted. Um, or promotions are offered to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, that also could be no an indicator. No added responsibilities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I know as an expert, you've worked with so many professionals the journey through mm -hmm. career coaching mm -hmm. and just mentoring them, hand holding, ensuring that they have a clear vision or direction where they want their career to take. Yeah. What are some of the ways into which someone can be able to resolve this, the stagnation? So as a career coach, the starting point is um, I advise professionals to do is a simple self-assessment. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, Mary, where am I? And what has brought me this far? Mm -hmm. What has worked and what is not working? So that is the starting point. Mm -hmm. Because it's from that self-awareness, you can make an objective decision. For example, the example I gave, you've never gone back to school. Mm -hmm. You've never learned a new skill. So surely, how then do you, um, how, how, how do you expect to remain co competitive in the field? Mm -hmm. And jobs are competitive by nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of these fields, professions, they, 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 they've kept on changing. They are not where they were five years ago. Mm -hmm. So part of that self-assessment could be also that you lack in one or two other soft skills. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about public speaking, confidence, yeah. leadership skills. So these are skills you need really to advance to that next level. Mm -hmm. So it could be the reason why you're not being promoted as a manager because you don't have leadership skills. Mm -hmm. It could be your own fear holding you back, you know, where you fear crowds, people talking to people. So a public speaking course would come in handy. Mm -hmm. So self-assessment is a starting point. Mm -hmm. 
After then, that, when you come to me as a coach, we set goals. We decide this is where Mary is, mm -hmm. this is what is holding her back, and this is where she needs to go. Mm -hmm. And then I'll advise you and offer a helping hand because I've been in this industry for the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. So I understand. I understand in terms of how can you position yourself mm -hmm. uh, in terms of opportunities out there, whether it is your CV, whether it's the way you handle interviews. Mm -hmm. What opportunities are there for someone with your level of skills and expertise? Mm -hmm. Even salary, what are other different employers, uh, different employers paying? Mm -hmm. If you want to change careers, because it's possible you may have stagnated because you've reached your peak. How do you go about it? Mm -hmm. As you know, I have a very good example. Myself, I changed careers from finance to HR. Mm -hmm. So I can advise you on how to go about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a coach offers a helping hand. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's a three-part process. Self-assessment, getting to understand where you are and mm -hmm. what is holding you back. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, setting a goal. And this one you can do alone. Or number three, you can take step th number three where you can work now with a mentor mm -hmm. or a coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the beauty of a coach is we help you to accelerate. Mm -hmm. So because I've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. So I can be able to tell you, Mary, don't take this direction. This is the right direction mm -hmm. for you. And you're bound to get results as opposed to hit and misses, which will take you another five years. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know quite a number of professionals actually do the self-assessment and even they have a goal. Yeah. But now making the step of having a career coach, like an accountability partner, to someone to walk with you the journey, to hold you accountable, to monitor the progress that you're making, mm -hmm. that is where most professionals miss it. Yeah, and, and sometimes also, when it comes also to, uh, to self-assessment, sometimes you know we can be very objective mm -hmm. when it comes to our own lives. Mm -hmm. uh, a third party is able to really tell it as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And that is why I always encourage professionals. You can talk to friends and family members, but are they really experts? Mm -hmm. They are not experts in career. So you'll find, even if you do your own self-assessment, yes, it will help you in a way, mm -hmm. but for you really to get to the root cause, of what is really stagnating you and the steps you can take mm -hmm. to get to the where you want to be. It is always helpful either to engage a mentor, mm -hmm. you know, or to engage a coach, someone, mm -hmm. a professional like me, a coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then the conversations you'll be deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank but you so as much. you've mm -hmm. said uh, before you we close, we close mm -hmm. the video, that also accountability aspect. Mm -hmm. Because think about it even you made mm -hmm. How many times, maybe it could be half year or end of the year, how many times have you made promises to yourself? <laughs> and when you look back three months later, you've not been able to achieve them. Not because you're a bad person, mm -hmm. but there's no one holding you accountable. Yeah. But the reason why you're so successful at your work right now is because if you don't send me a report, I'll be there telling you, Mary, we agreed mm -hmm. that on Saturday you're supposed to be sharing with me this report. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that accountability aspect is very, is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Apart from setting goals, who's keeping you uh, aware of the promises you made yourself and helping you throughout the journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is where a professional expert or coach comes that in. That is where a career coach comes, comes in. in. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for your time. Indeed. If you have been feeling stuck in your career or you feel like your career is stagnating, I believe you found this video very helpful and we encourage you to reach out to us. The beauty with career coaching is that it is a personalized session where it is just you and the coach you get to shed more light on your background your history your professional experience how it has been and with the help of the coach you are able to chart the way forward to the next level you want your career to take the link below will guide you on how to fill the form and reach out to us and we'll be glad to walk the journey with you thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one